Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today I have a bit of a collection video for you today. These are products in my collection, my makeup collection, but I will never ever use because I am collecting them. So I'm not gonna swatch them. I'm not gonna whatever. I'm just not gonna use them. They are in their packaging. They will be in their packaging. I keep them away from everything so they stay nice and then maybe you know a makeup collector in the future when i die can be like wow look at this mass mass produced um <laughs> Actually, not all of it is misproduced. People like to collect makeup. I like to collect makeup. I know people like to collect vintage makeup. So hopefully some of this stuff will be nice for particular people in the future. So I have quite a lot to go through with you here today. But before we get into it, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Robert. I'm a professional makeup artist here on YouTube, also in real life. And it's my goal here to help you become a pro yourself or just someone who's really good at makeup. I haven't said this for so long. So if you do like this content, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up for more beauty stuff. Let's get into it. Let's start with this. So this is the MAC and Celine. Selena Quintanilla collection. I only have a few bits because it was very, very rare, especially here in the UK. Hardly got any of it. And this is an extra dimension skin finish powder. And on the front here, you can kind of see the iconic Selena like bra bralettes, whatever it's called, kind of design with all these like embellished little diamond pieces on it. When you open it up, the thing inside that's usually like a piece of paper, a bit of plastic, is Selena. Look. Oh. <laughs> And then this is the highlighter itself. Absolutely stunning. A rose and like an em embossed, debossed. I can never get that right. A rose. Not even gonna lay a finger on it. Is it past its date? Absolutely, but it looks good. So to add to it, I kind of have a, like a separate Selena collection as well. So there's another two parts of this collection that I have. This is the eyeshadow palette. Similar design on the front here. And again, a similar kind of like plastic insert with Selena and also her signature. I think I have one of these that I have used. And this is the palette inside itself. Not that interesting, I have to be honest, as a palette, but I don't care because I'm not gonna use it. And then there's a the lipstick as well that comes in this box. The actual bullet itself is just a silver lid with um, Selena's signature. And this is the nude shade. I could not get the red, of course. That was, I wonder if I can find it on eBay, actually. I can tell if it's real. And it has like this really cute rose detailing on, on the actual lipstick there itself. So that's those two pieces. Next up is the Pat McGrath Star Wars palettes. Now, I'm not gonna open these. I was sent these and I was gifted them. I just think they're absolutely incredible. The packaging itself, I think these are really incredible like collector's items. I've never opened them. This is my first time opening it. I just realized this is the palette inside and that's the color story inside. So I would never use that anyway. And that's the color story. That's cute. Oh, there's a dent in that one. No, it's not. It's just a little mark. That's really cute. Oh, I love this. Maybe I should use this one. Really, really cute. Imagine that in, you know, when I have like an office completely done, I want to have a display cabinet with these bits in. There's a lot of Disney in this from now. I collect Disney makeup, but let's talk about this lipstick from Besame. This is a Mickey Mouse lipstick and it's the shade Ink and Paint, I think it is. And it has a classic Mickey on the front here, like vintage classic Mickey. And then on the box lid as well, it has his little face. The bullet is this really cool, like matte beige. It gives a very, very vintage kind of style to it, which Besame are known for with their, their lip Six, and their makeup in general, I should say. Besame one side, Mickey Mouse the other. Now this is a color changing lipstick, so it goes on black, and I believe it changes to a pink, which I think is really cute, because a black lipstick kind of is a nod towards old black and white Mickey Mouse cartoons, and you know, his ears, and the, the um, color for font, which I really, really like. Sticking to Mickey Mouse, this is actually brand new, but I'm never gonna use this. This is from Spectrum, and this is a Mickey Mouse Kabuki brush. Spectrum do the most incredible Disney collections and I actually use a lot of their products but this is the actual brush here itself there's a lot of things on here so his face is up the top here gloves and then the shorts and then we have the little feet underneath and then it's just like a regular kabuki brush just like this I just think that's absolutely incredible I just want to keep it and just look at it I don't want to use it I don't want to compromise its shape I don't want to compromise the packaging okay a little rest from Disney for one second and we're gonna go on to Sailor Moon and this is the Miracle Romance Shine Moon powder. There are a lot of fake Sailor Moon um, makeup products around, but this is a genuine one from the Miracle Romance collection, and they are quite pricey for what they are. But this is a compact, it's her brooch looking like this. And when you open up inside, it has a little mirror in there. 
I've had this for years, so it's a bit frosty. And a plastic protection is like this. You also have a little sponge inside, but I just thought it was the cutest thing. I have a Sailor Moon collection with like the wands and everything like that, but this is like one of the only pieces of makeup I have from, from them because it's really hard in the UK once all the products have been, you know, out for a while, they sell out instantly. So to find a genuine one online is very, very difficult. I'm on the hunt for some of their original Bandai releases where it was like the lipsticks in the ones, but I don't want them to be used. Some of you may be very familiar with this palette. This is a Sleeping Beauty palette from Bessemer Cosmetics again. What is that? Oh, a bit of makeup. Oh, see. So this is an eyeshadow palette shaped to be like this uh, book from the beginning of Sleeping Beauty. Um, in its velvet cushion <laughs> and it's like little protection thing around here. Let me open it up for you. I do have this palette. I have an, another one a while after the release so I could actually use it. When Bessemer do a Disney collection, as somebody who loves Disney and somebody who loves makeup, the detail they go into is phenomenal. So as you open, oh sorry baby, as you open up the book, there's a mirror inside on this side. This here is kind of like the gel, like is it called a cell or gel? for Sleeping Beauty, the original cartoon. The owner of Besame went into the archives and was able to take the actual colors from the actual original cells, gels? Oh, why can't I, why don't I know what that is? And take the color. For example, you can see her eyelids, the shade is Rose 105. Her lips are, is Blush 105. And the same is also done here with Maleficent. And then here's the actual palette itself. Now, it's very much me, but you can see um, the Aurora color call out. So it has, you know, even her leg is a shade, her dress at some point, her brows, the blue dress, pink dress, skirt, the peasant costume, and a Maleficent, we have all the shades of her as well. Her eyelids, the true shade her eyelids was in the cartoon. I don't wanna bend it too much. The historic kind of accuracy of that palette, I absolutely love. Staying with Besame throw out now, this is from their Villains collection they did re recently. I think it was for D23 last year. And this is a Maleficent ring. This is a perfume ring. And it's almost like um, these next three products are like real life props about makeup. This is pretty much a replica of a ring that Maleficent wears in uh, the Sleeping Beauty cartoon in the original movie. And when you open it up, there's a solid perfume inside. It smells absolutely incredible. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, I maybe I have to do it like that. There's Maleficent carved into the lid. And the perfume is kind of rosy a little bit, like a musky rose. I just love that it's almost like a real life prop. And also here we have Ursula's shell. Oh, this is usually behind me here. And I have one of these I use also. So it opens it up, it says Ursula around the top here. And it's like her tentacles on the top. And then we have this incredible shell. And it opens up to this highlighter with like a sprinkle of its gold glitter. You can see, is it Flotsam and Jetsam on the mirror? and um, Ursa's crown. And the highlight itself is actually a really beautiful highlighter. It's a very subtle gold, despite looking incredibly powerful. It's not as strong as, as it looks. We also have the spell book from Snow White. I also have one of these that I use because I got on sale after the release. I will buy these at um, original price for my collection. And then if a palette still exists and it goes on sale, then I will buy that too. So this is like the poison book she uses and it has a little little bit on the front there. And what I really like about this palette is that it has three sections. So you have a section for the Evil Queen, Ursula and Maleficent, and the palette is in here. So you have each row going downwards for each of the villains. So you have Maleficent, I believe is on this side here, um, Ursula and then the Evil Queen right here, which is really, really cute. Okay, so next up are my absolute treasures. I adore, adore, adore these palettes. They were limited release. I stayed up till 2 a.m. in the morning every time one was released to buy it um, and had it shipped to the UK. These were released. These are again from Besame. These were from, I think it was like Year of a Princess. And these are the Disney Princess Signature Compact Series. I'm going to have to put them on the side here as I talk through them. So they had one for every single princess almost. And each palette and lipstick color is unique to the princess. The highlighter in the palette itself is incredibly universal and, and like usable for everyone. And each of the palettes is refillable if you were, if you wanted to refill it. I actually bought two of Tiana. Tiana's my favorite princess, my Disney, favorite Disney princess. And on her compact on the front, they've recreated that like iconic um, animated scene, well it's animated anyway, but when she has like this poster moment, um, some people didn't like the design. They were like, oh, everyone else is so nice. But this is, 
Tiana's like dream moment in her, it's her I want moment in the story, you know what I mean? And I just think it's, it's the most beautiful compact. I absolutely love it. And every lipstick shade is different and has a different print on the outside. And it's gonna show me, it's gonna take me forever if I show you every lipstick inside, but every lipstick is pretty much accurate to the color the princess wears in the cartoons. Okay, so that was pretty much it. I know there's something else somewhere that I'm forgetting about, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that was interesting. I love sharing things like that with you all. Thanks again for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.